Hi everyone, good morning New Zealand. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sunan Hua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist and Chinese medicine herbalist. It, um, today, our topic is learn acupoints for heartburn and acid reflux. Heartburn and acid reflux. Now, before we start, you hear now. Please say hi to me and introduce yourself. Your name. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay. So, if you watch it on YouTube, Facebook, or TikTok, please say hi to me and like. Comment down there and let me know where you from. Where are you from? And what's your name? Then share this live video on your social media. So on TikTok, Facebook, you can share it too. And tag the person that you know that they suffer from acid reflux. They may be on medication. And they still complain about acid reflux, heartburn, or they get it occasionally. Please tag them in because this live video, I'm going to give you some tips about acupoints that could instant relieve the heartburn. Right, and if you keep going with those points, practice every day then it may it may get rid of it completely okay now we have someone come out here on from texas tiktok yeah you know someone yeah tag them in you can t if you know the tick their tiktok you can tag the name edit name under here my main name is Nush in I'm from Fiji. Do you have any medi medicine for cold? Yes, we have medicine for cold, but we don't. I don't have it. I, I can send it to you, but you have to um, uh, online consultation. We probably can send it to you. So how to get rid of heartburn? Yes, this is the topic that we're going to talk about today. How to get rid of heartburn? So do you suffer from heartburn? As is refer. If yes, please reply one. Please reply one if you suffer yourself. I mean yourself if you suffer from heartburn. Okay. First let's talk about let's share about the condition of heartburn. Yes, so your mom and yourself, is it? Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. What? Well, well acid reflux can cause very uncomfortable burning sensation in your chest, right? Over here. Apart from your chest, it actually can come up to here, your throat, or your stomach, or your stomach over here, right? Over here. Could be up to here and up to there. Right. Wow. <laughs> well, you're the lucky one. A poor family, yeah, my entire family except me. Okay. Low back pain, spine pain, go to my page, like it first, go to my page, and I have just put it on playlist today, this morning. So you can click the playlist, and there are low back pain points, acute points for you. Hope that helps. Okay, let's focus on heartburn today. So, when you have heartburn, there's another. You you might develop a sour or bitter taste in your back of your mouth, right? It might also cause uh, uh, um, uh, some food that um, retain in your in in your stomach that actually uh, come out. The food actually 
it came out to your mouth to your throat right that may be the case too right. some of you just feel burning sensation but nothing actually come out up to your mouth right and it can also cause difficulty swallowing difficulty swallowing so it can sometimes lead to breathing problem or like chronic coughing cough or asthma but when you go to sleep when you lay down flat and you start to get it right and that's the problem too that's the reflux but when you lay down you cough if you stand up you sit up you feel better and then it stop that could be acid reflux causing it okay so let's talk a little bit a little bit about what causing uh what can trigger okay it's most likely in a diet right here is some food that will trigger the um uh 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 acid reflux in heartburn so more commonly we see high fat foods high fat foods spicy food curry very common chocolate chocolate common citrus fruit fruit pineapple tomatoes that's high acid one some people take well i have heard people that um if you remove that some cases they remove the skin and the seed they actually feel better right and there is on um non acid tomatoes and they can eat that but not the normal tomatoes because high acid right but some no problem with tomatoes onion garlic mince alcohol coffee tea soft drink soda so all this food that i just mentioned it may make your symptoms worse so it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that when you have this food all of you all those herbs all all this fruit foods are going to make you sick no nope. that's not what i'm saying right that's not what it is i'm saying that what well, with it's common we, we see a lot of patients complain about getting worse or trigger the acid reflux from there from those food but you may i have five i have one patient that triggered by cauliflower i have another one triggered by uh what is it called um broccoli very rare apart from those two they are pretty good with any others but only those two food so according to chinese medicine it's about your stomach and spleen function are not good they can't digest the food that you used to can you used to can di used used to able to digest those food but not anymore because because the digest system functions getting low and low and low does it make sense wow water triggers yours sometimes wow i never heard about that this is my first time that water actually triggers yours a uh, uh, heartburn that is not good that means that means that your digestive system is very bad or ba maybe you drink it too quick i don't know yeah your digestive system is very bad and normally when your digestive system is bad with acid reflux you come with bloating you come with diarrhea or constipations 
Do you have that? With a lot of other digest system symptoms. Anyway, today I'm going to show you some acupressure point. So, when you, when any food trigger from it, when you trigger from that, please, this is something that you can do. Too much sugar trigger my reflux. Absolutely, too much sugar. Absolutely. Yep, I missed that one. Sorry. Yep, a lot of people complain about sugar as well. Sweet. Yes absolutely i don't know why i i just missed that one yep absolutely that's one of the common one too i'm pretty regular how many coffees and green tea combination i should have in a day please i don't know i personally don't drink coffee okay and green tea mm. put it that way green tea and black tea so in Chinese culture there's green tea and black tea green tea is actually for summer black tea is actually for winter so but in these days people drink green tea and and winter too because green we talk about cold and warm and heat black tea is more warm so it's good in winter and green tea is about cold it's good in summer does it make sense how to reduce acid reflux i'm going to show you first you need to figure it out you need to figure it out what foods trigger your acid reflux that's number one when you find it, stop. Avoid the food. Kiara, a depression point that you suggest to relieve my migraine and it worked. Fantastic. Love to hear that and thank you for sharing. Now, Kiara, you must be in New Zealand because you said Kiara. <laughs> Alright, next one. First, avoid the food that actually make you sick bring you to acid reflux and give you heartburn next follow the step we do some acupressure point where are you from New Zealand which part of New Zealand over here let me use this pin you see over here this is your this is your head this is your throat and keep over down here there is your chest chest over here Let's see and go down here there's your tummy All right so most people Taunaki good place to live most people have have it on the chest they call heartburn right yeah, so it's called heartburn and some come to here so what you need to do is in the middle at least halfway what i mean halfway is from the wrist to the elbow move it to halfway from there to there halfway okay then on the little finger side you see that you go from here and thumb side I'm locating the point for you so this is where you need to do the acupressure point later and I'm going to introduce I'm going to show you how to do the acupressure point over here You see then guess what as you can see that between the middle line middle dot middle dot and the thumb side the dot over here there can add another one 
so we can do you see and as you can see here between the middle one and the little fingers dot on here we add another one all right so we cover all this one this is the acupressure point that you need to cover for acid reflux now this is more for symptoms if the reflux if the acids come and actually burn anything and damage anything this would help how does it help how does it work an acupuncture theory the point when we choose the point there are two strategies one is one is local point strategy if any symptom over here we can put needle on all along the point over here if, as you can see a lot of point over here right then second is well so with s 3 fog you can do some treatment over here but what i'm showing you at the moment is this door acupuncture point this is local acupuncture point this door acupuncture point is over here right of course it can be over here too it can be some point over here or on the back over here or on the upper arm too now today i just show you one tips one area so for those yeah the water give you heartburn yeah they're exactly the same the heartburn is from the acid reflux well some people can actually feel that acids come up sour sensation taste in the back of the clothes right some not because it, the acids only come up to here and burn you it doesn't actually come up to here so you can't feel it right so acid reflux cause heartburn so heartburn is a symptom one of the main symptoms for or of acid reflux does it make sense now this door points over here that cover from here down to over here there's more symptom in here you can work more to it down there cover all in here that will cover down to here okay but not many people have in here if you're bloating you should go keep going for more point down here okay now if you get acids come out that may damage some tissues over there then this point over here when you press on it it actually you will get more circulation in this part so those points correspond to here and when you feel discomfort over here you press over here it gives you instant relief that is telling you that it actually increases the blood circulation when the blood circulation is better it actually relieves the pain and it can help to repair whatever damage over there so as you see a lot of meridian over here those meridian got blood circulation and energy in it that's science medicine theory so by doing this point over here it connect to the organs and then go through the organs come up to here to help this the circulation over here or it connect to your brain brain and come to here okay i hope that about a theory for you that would help you to understand it so if you're an acupuncturist over here watching this live video simplify the acupressure point over here as the point and needle it and you will get instant relief for your patient now for now i'm going to introduce what tool do we use there's a few tools that you can use i do this 
chopstick, mini sense device, mini sense device. Okay, we can do one by one. But if you don't have those, don't worry. Surely you have hands, right? If you don't have hands, you need to get someone to help you with that. Alright, if you get joint pain, you probably need someone to help you because it doesn't work. That way, if you don't, if you can't use your hand as a massage tool to give yourself treatment. You see thumb over here, the tips of the thumb. And you can use the knuckle, the two knuckles that you can use. Give me a thumbs up like this, follow me, and use the tips and press it on your, um, what do you call it? Um, the index fingers joints. So press it in there, so you use here. Can you see it? Awesome, right? Uh, and then, wow, my reflux come right up into my nose. That is very bad. That is very bad. All right. So this one, index fingers, fully bend it, and use your thumb to press it on the fingernail. So you lock it. Use here. So now you do this. Go. I'm going to use my thumb first. Press it up and down and side by side. So if you feel pain over there, give it for five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then move to the next point. One. Now, over here, I need you to understand this. When you move to the next point, look at my fingers, my thumb. If I move from here to here, what's happening? I miss the point between them. So I want you to move a little bit and test it out. If, if there is no sensitive point, just give it three, three times. One, two, three. And press it down. No, no point, no sensitive in here. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that sensitive in here, and do one, two, three, four, five. Oops, my tripod holding my cell phone just dropped. Sorry about that. Now, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then go to the next line, which is between the thumb side and the middle side, and use your knuckle. Try to use your knuckle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is sensitive. One, two, three, four, five. And this is sensitive too. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I actually can feel that sensation go down to my thumb and that's normal that's okay too one two three four five 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 right then we're going to use this one for the middle one one two three four five 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 one two three four five. One two three four five. One two three four five. Okay. Then what happened over here? You use this two. Now, if you haven't got any two, please keep going with your thumb or your knuckle. This is what I'm gonna do. One two three four five. One two three four five. One two three. One two three. No pain. One, two, three, no pain. One, two, three, no pain. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We have one point here. Okay. Now, over here, the last one, I'm going to use this tool. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That's it. Now I have finished once. So any of you, while we do that, before we start it, do you have heartburn or as you say for, or discomfort in your chest? Now you should feel better right now. Ask yourself, how bad is it? Do you say with heartburn or chest pain? This is good for chest pain too. Okay? So now when you get better, keep going. I suggest you do three sets. What we just did, just one set. Go for it for another two sets. So three set minimum. Three sets. Then how often should you do that? Once a day. No matter whether you get SS reflux, heartburn or not on that day. If you just do get it once a month, once every two weeks, do it anyway. Your mission is to get rid of all the sensitive point over here. That's number one. Number two, when you have pain, when you eat something wrong, it actually trigger the heartburn, do it straight away. Do it immediately and it will give you instant relief instant relief okay now here's what's going on in here if you keep doing it and one month two months one or two weeks it keep coming back even though you avoid the food but while you do this treatment at home you need to avoid the food that actually trigger your SS reflux. If you don't do that, it's never gonna heal. Be in mind that never gonna heal. So you need to avoid the food that actually make you sick. Okay? This is very important. Now if you keep doing this and it keep coming back what well, i always tell my patient our goal is if that's what you want then we can set the goal to get rid of all the medication that for your reflux because i believe and we do that for our patient when they avoid the food and they get acupuncture and Chinese medicines then when the digest system better and they cut down medication and they no longer need medication but it takes time it takes time and as a practitioner therapies we can't achieve that by you doing your part avoiding the food does it make sense to you thank you for the useful health tips i try them out and they do work fantastic tension around collarbone neck and head do you how do you release tension there? It's like the required way. Go to my page first, follow me, and go to my page. And that is a, a, um, a video that for you. And go and find it. What's this topic? This topic is about acupoint for acid reflux and heartburn. Okay. Now, what happened over here when you keep doing it one or two months and you find it it gives you relief but it keep coming back as bad as before or or that doesn't really make a difference for you 
I'm not saying that it's 100% gonna work for everyone. If your condition is very, very bad, or your organs function is very, very bad, what I mean very, very bad is that keep happening and it actually burn off the tissues over here and it's quite bad inside and then you haven't got a good organ functionality to provide the circulation over here to help it heal to help it with play and even though you do this you just couldn't see the blood circulation over here then that's very bad that's not good right in this case and or if you doing this you get relief and relief and relief and it stop progressing you not seem to be able to get any further and this is the time that you need to get someone to help you that is why acupuncturists and Chinese herbalists there for you and this live video is try to get you to send out information to let you know there's something that you can do from home but it doesn't mean you are going to fix yourself but in some cases you may be able to just avoid the food and doing this if your organs function is still quite good you can just heal yourself but not in every cases so you need to understand this okay if you try it, it doesn't work for you hey you need to go to your local acupuncturist and Chinese medicine herbalist to get a consultation, to get an initial examination, to get a proper diagnosis according to traditional Chinese medicine. Then you will get some herbs or some acupuncture and you keep doing this from home and a combination of that I believe of course avoid the food I believe you will get everything shorter with your acid reflux and heartburn gone one day are you a specialized in TCM yes I am an acupuncturist and traditional Chinese medicine herbalist okay now mm, we are up on going now as the level three lockdown in New Zealand at level three we're able to send out herbs Chinese herbs post to everyone I'm not quite sure where you are if you on overseas and we need to check whether your country be able to receive the herbs or not most of the time it's okay most of most countries okay and anywhere in New Zealand will be able to send the herbs to you so we started online examination so what happened is you can book an appointment with us any health issues and then you pay online and we will see you for an hour and make the proper diagnosis according to TCM and will prescribe the herbs and send it to you and also we may film some acupoint video that is for your conditions that you can do acupoint strategy at home do it yourself at home combined with Chinese herbs if you live in some country in some places you can't get the herbs from local and we aren't able to send you the herbs post the herbs to you no worry at all you can still get the consultations then what happened is we will give you acupoints video we'll film the acupoint video show you where it is and teach you how to do it from home does it make sense 
Yes, Oakland is on level four, and the rest of us is in level three. Now, if you're in Oakland, we have checked with the career because we are in level three, and we're able to send the herbs to you, even though you're in level four. Well, I hope that makes sense. Can you refer a good TCM in London? Yes, we can. Please go to our website. So if you're on TikTok, go to our page. There's a link, click it in. Let's say my website, click, click it in and contact us. Send us an email and let us know where about are you and what do you need? What condition do you suffer from? And if you're in London, we have co colleague work in London. We can refer you to them. Well, that's it for today. I have a meeting later on and I have I have to see a few patients later on online and we prescribe herbs to, the, to them. So stay awesome and I'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Again, New Zealand time, of course. Now, please, please, my purpose is to help more and more people that I could. That's why I started live video and that's why I show you all the tips because there is not enough acupuncturists, Chinese medicine herbalists that in the world. That is why I started this because I do think that there's a lot of things that you can help yourself at home, do it yourself and you can simply heal yourself from home. And they, of course, there are people that in other country they can't afford to get some herbs or to get some advice from medical doctor, and all they're desperate and they don't they run out of idea and they have no no one can help them. That's why we started acupressure point. But I don't guarantee that I can heal you or I can cure you or something like that but give it a go for those points that we show you if you get relief please keep going if you don't get relief from it please email us we're happy to help and if we know someone that would be able to help you and we'd be happy to refer you to them All right stay awesome yes we can do online appointment and please like, comment and share.